Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, and for today's video, we will be learning about how to play in badminton singles. Now, we will be witnessing the fight between the Philippines and Japan's badminton in singles. From the right corner, we have Edmar Luis Cabana from the Philippines. From the left corner, we have Kian Lee Kalumba from Japan. Hello, I'm Edmar Cabana, a representative from the Philippines. So now we will be showing you how to play in singles. What are the strategies to be maintained to win the game? Go Philippines! Go, Go Japan! Japan. Aja, aja! But wait! Let's first learn the rules of the singles badminton game as our players demonstrate it. In this way, players avoid penalties during the game. Before the game, both players toss coins or shuttlecock to determine which side serves first. As you can see, the court were divided into two symmetrical halves by a net. And singles dimension are different from doubles as the court is a way more smaller. If happened that the shuttlecock hits a single sideline, it will be considered as out. On the other hand, if it happens that the shuttlecock hits the short service area, it will also be considered as out. The player must serve the shuttle diagonally and continue the rally. If the score is even, the serve is on the right side. Otherwise, if the score is odd, the serve is on the left side. When serving, a player must stay within the box and never step on the line because it can be called fault by the service judge. Thank you, judge. So during the game, there's a lot of tactical and strategic way on how to play and win a point. In serving, the server must keep both feet on the ground. The bird must be contacted below the waist and the rocket head must also be below the server wrist, like this, until I messed up. Fault. As what I have said before, stepping on the lines while serving can be called a fault. Oh no. So as a player of badminton, you must be mindful with your positioning during the game. Yes, yes, that's right. Remember that the server must serve it diagonally. Most only land on a box for where the receiver is standing. Not like this, longer server. Not like this, left court. Not like this, short service court. Otherwise, can be called fault or out. What if the shuttle hits the net? Is it considered as a fault? If the shuttle hit the net but land on within the box where the receiver is will not be considered as fault. That's why the receiver must hit it back for the server to not win the point. During the rally, the receiver must receive the shuttle before it lands on the ground. Whoever wins the rally will get a point and will be the one who will serve. Yes! I won! Oh no. During the rally, if the shuttle goes in and bounces out, it will be considered in. But if the shuttle goes out and bounces in, it will be considered out. During the rally, if the shuttle hits the net, then you must still continue receiving it until one of you will get a point. When one opponent reaches at 11 points, both sides will change court and will be given a break or talk to your coach. Like this? Coach, how was my game? Um, worst. Just kidding. <laughs> of course, my coach trusts me so much that I can win this game. So now we can talk it and talk it until the game continues. So let's continue. So during the game, every player has different ways to defend their side on their court. However, wins a point will be the one to serve. However, the first who wins 21 points will be the winner. Sometimes, if the game is beat more instance, instances will be the scoring continues until however reach 30 points will be the winner. Strategies in playing would depend on different opponents. Accuracy and speed plays an important role in playing the game. Since this is a single badminton, during the rally, you can freely move at the back, middle and front, whether it's a match or drop as long as you can win a point and defend your area. 
When you make a drop here in front, it creates more speed than smashing at the back so the opposing opponent needs to receive it with speed and accuracy to defend in his area. Once the opposing player missed the bird and counted as in, you will win a point and be the one to serve again. If you want to drop the bird, you need to move forward first and hit the bird with speed into which side of the court is open. On the other hand, if you want him to drain your opponent's energy, you can continue to hit the bird on the same space at the back of your opponent court like this. So if your opponent is on a fast pace, you need to also make sure that your strategy would resonate with him, because if not... There's a possibility that he cannot win the game or match. That's why to win a point, you need to smash the bird with accuracy and speed. You're right! So cheer which team you wanted to win! Go, go team Philippines! Go Japan! Go team Japan! Aja, Aja. So we'll now declare the winner, which is... The Philippines! Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy learning more about playing badminton in singles. If you like this video, please do click the like button and see you guys for the next event! Bye!